Stephen Lewis, a successful writer of children's books, is confronted with the unthinkable he loses his only child, four-year-old Kate, in a supermarket. In one horrifying moment that replays itself over the years that follow, Stephen realizes that his daughter is gone. With tenderness and insight, the drama explores a marriage devastated by the loss of a child. Kate's absence sets Stephen and his wife, Julie, on diverging paths as both struggle with an out-consuming grief. With the passage of time, a balance of sorts returns, until hope surfaces and triumphs unexpectedly. Benedict Cumberbatch stars as Stephen alongside Kelly MacDonald as Julie, Stephen Campbell Moore as Charles and Saskia Reeves as Thelma. We managed to grab some questions with Benedict and Kelly. Benedict, describe your character Stephen, by profession he writes children's books. He's a very happy and loving father their child Kate is born into a very loving marriage. He is an everyman and has a small but close circle of friends he's at his best and most charismatic when he's with them. He presents quite an indifferent face to the rest of the world, he's more a spectator than a participant. But that all changes when he suffers the unimaginable trauma of losing his daughter in a supermarket and becomes the center of the drama. The Child in Time is about how he is destroyed by that incident and how it affects his relationships and everything that has given him purpose before that point. But then also how he somehow manages to find some kind of salvation and acceptance of what happened, his responsibility, the effect on other people and the enduring love he has for his missing daughter, Kate. Tell us about Stephen's relationship with his estranged wife Julie. The relationship between Stephen and Julie is critical to the story because the loss of their daughter drives them apart. Their love is manifested in their child, and when she goes missing it becomes very hard for them. They are both lost in their own worlds of grief, and it fractures their relationship and reaches a breaking point, but the root of their love is still there. Ian draws that out spectacularly in the book, and I hope we've achieved that with Stephen Butchard's adaptation. Kelly MacDonald, who plays Julie, is a phenomenal actress, she has an ease about her and is very fluid with the camera. She's incredibly perceptive and intelligent about character and motivation, and also great fun. We had a really lovely rapport from the get-go and I was thrilled when she was interested in taking on the role. Working with her was a great joy of the job. Kelly, what attracted you to the role? When I read the script I could see myself playing Julie. I loved all her scenes. Quite often when you're sent something there might be one scene that you think is a good one to get your teeth into, but all the scenes in this were so well constructed and interesting. I remember saying how that really excited me to the director Julian Farino when we sat down to talk about me taking on the role. You've done both film and television, as has Benedict. Do you think actors doing both is becoming more common now? I really do. There used to be an almost upstairs and stairs level of condescension when it came to television, and if you were a film actor doing television it was seen as a step down. That's absolutely not the case now, TV is so sophisticated. It seems that the films that are able to get financed these days are often the big blockbusters, which has allowed television to catch up. All these interesting stories have had to go to TV to find an outlet. What can viewers expect from the child in time? There are so many films about missing children which can be quite depressing, and this isn't one of those. It's an interesting story about real characters in love. It is emotional, but it's uplifting. The Child in Time is on BBC One on Sunday at 9 p.m.